After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Live long. And 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me, I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tyrell. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. There you are! Getting excited yet? 
Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Come. Cadet. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the Advanced Phaser Training Program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you outside. Talk to her to start the phaser training and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Phasers are in the lockers by the Holodecks. You can grab one there.
You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. As a Delta recruit, you will be able to earn many additional rewards as you complete later missions. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely, I have a new first officer. Congratulations! Yes, you should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I get you a rack to Gino, sir? You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Now hear this. All cadets report to Shuttle Bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Are you ready to head to the ship? We're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use a turbo lift in the nearby quarter. It will take you directly there.
Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Break Even. Their warp core is failing, and they require immediate assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our hails. Keep trying, Trevelle. Their long-range comms might be down. Number one, let's discuss the situation. An unexpected situation, number one. But such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Indeed. We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident, or the results of an attack. What do you advise? Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Indeed. Yellow alert. Raise shields. Number one, I'd like you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive. Still no response from the break-even, Captain. Scan them. Maybe they're unable to respond to our signal. Captain, our shields are collapsing. Flores, return fire. Atom Delta Sierra 9. Well, there go the shields. Not good. Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the Borg are here. We need help. Right, number one. I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. for the emergency stop number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you're armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. Sir, you need to unlock the armory. Enter the command code. Life support failing on deck four. We should grab rifles to fight off the board. This is what I'm talking about. Locked, loaded, and ready to rock and roll. Status report number one. Very well. We're reading Borg life signs in your area. Looks like you'll have to fight your way to the transporter room. Good luck. Security to engineering. 
Thanks. You saved me from a fate worse than death. I'll get back to manning the transporters. That's going to be a problem. We took some hard hits in the initial salvo, and there are hole breaches in the corridor. I don't think you can make it there. We still have main power, so yes. Yes, I think I can. Get on the transporter pad and I'll beam you there. Your timing is fortuitous, sir. We are making a push to retake main engineering. history sim so I'm pretty sure it'll work. I need you to prepare the plasma coolant for emergency release. Security to engineering. Code red. Any riskier than standing around while the Borg send over more drones? I don't think so. Hurry, I do not want to be assimilated. No thank you. anytime soon. That's good. That's very, very good. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Borg could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go. See to the bridge. We will secure main engineering. Life support failing on deck four. Bridge is secure, for now. Help the others back onto their feet, number one. We may have more unwanted guests before too long. You have my gratitude. Nice work, number one. Oh, looks like that phase of training paid off. Captain, look out!
Captain, the Borg vessel has gone to warp and left the system. Based on the amount of damage they sustained, it is logical to assume they disengaged in order to regenerate safely. We... we survived. But the Captain... He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. No response, Captain. I suggest that we move closer for a short-range scan. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. No life forms detected. The ship is broadcasting its distress signal via automation. I suggest that we remotely order the break even's computer to cease the distress signal. I put together a damage report, Captain, and it's not good. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but we took too much damage in main engineering. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. There was a battle here recently between Starfleet and Klingon forces, and the amount of wreckage present is considerable. Despite the dangers involved, the salvage opportunities attract the crews of civilian vessels, like the Breakeven. Logic suggests that we may discover similar opportunities for salvage here. I recommend scanning the debris field. Some of the derelicts present may contain intact plasma injectors. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and... I'll get everything installed as soon as I can, Captain. Just remember, safety comes first. After all, we don't want to blow up the minute we get warp one. Unfortunately so, Captain. We are still unable to send a distress signal. There are several operational Starfleet comm satellites near our position. My preliminary attempts to use them to send a distress signal were not successful. A sensor scan revealed the presence of Borg technology in each satellite, and that they are the source of the jamming signal. Since time is a factor, the most expedient solution to the problem is the destruction of the assimilated satellites. Their elimination should allow us to send a distress signal to Starfleet Command. Nice shot! 
two more jamming satellites left. Long-range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Captain, the Borg ship sustained damage in our encounter, and is likely to be leaking plasma until they have an opportunity to regenerate. We might be able to use that plasma to find them. Understood. Fortunately, our sensors are sufficient to the task of following the trace plasma signature. Now enhancing the plasma trail imaging, the recolored visuals should appear on our mapping systems. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Multiple Borg vessels on sensors. These probes do not appear to be shielded. The Borg have adapted. These vessels present shields. Transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Tagger? I see. And you're the acting captain. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for our position. Chimera out. Another Borg Spear is attacking.
So, the rumors are true. The Borg have returned. We've got our work cut out for us. Cadet, where's your captain? Assimilation isn't a fate that anyone should suffer. And I hesitate to think about what the Borg would do with a captive Starfleet captain. They must have taken him for a reason. Otherwise, they wouldn't have left without assimilating your entire crew. Agreed. We'll do everything we can to bring your captain home, Cadet. I don't like the sound of that at all. We need to get to the Pollock system and help the Kittimer before it's too late. Indeed it does. I'll need all the help I can get with this situation. Consider this a field promotion, Captain. Now then, set a course to the Pollock system, best possible speed. Voyager and Chimera will rendezvous with you there. Janeway out. We've arrived in the Pollock system, Captain. I have the Kittimer on sensors. She's taken heavy damage and is not responding to our hails. Your orders? Sensors indicate several critical systems are offline, Captain, including communications. I am reading numerous life signs on board, however. Something's not right here. Where are the Borg ships that attack the killer? Captain, I want you to scan those nearby gas clouds while we assist the crew of the killer. Make sure they're not hiding any unwanted guests. Sensors are having difficulty getting clear resolution through the gaseous anomalies. We will need to move in to very close range to acquire useful information. Traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. This is Janeway. We're detecting some unusual gamma radiation levels near your position. We're having trouble getting a clear scan. I don't like the look of it. Try recalibrating your multispatial sensor array. That should provide a better reading. Let me know what you find out there. That level of radiation could hide a lot of things, including the Borg. The multispatial sensor array has been recalibrated, Captain. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The Borg! The Borg are attacking us as well. Use full impulse to reach us quickly.
emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg did some serious damage to the Kittimer. The EMH might be in command because no one else is fit to do so. I'm reading a few probes from the Kittimer in the system. Looks like they were conducting research here before the Borg attacked. I want you to collect data from those probes. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. We'll send teams to aid the Kittimer while you collect that data. One more thing. If you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. I know firsthand what fighting the Borg can do, even to seasoned officers. Understood. I'll give the crew... This is the emergency... The Kittimer... I am an emergency med... The Borg did some serious... We'll send teams to aid the... We're scared. We all studied Admiral Janeway's Borg tactics, but no one thought we'd have to use them so soon. I know we need to be ready for the day when we're alone against the Collective. The counselors are already working with the crew. Do you want them to convey a message from you? Understood. I'll tell the crew what you said and set a course for the next anomaly. If the Borg show up again, we'll be ready. I've linked the Iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Probe number two. One last probe, and we should be able to assemble all of the data. Send us the data so we can begin our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Borg transwarp signatures detected. All hands, battle stations. They're firing. I need help.
All right. Here's how I see it, Captain. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Based on our analysis, their most likely target is the Vega system. There's a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it, they'll have a large population to assimilate. Agreed. Voyager and Chimera are better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kittimer. Once you've warned the colony, return to Earth space dock. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Shields up! Red alert! You need to warn the Vega colony about the impending attack. We'll do what we can here to hold off the Borg and repair the Kittimer. Good luck.